Hi, in this session, we are going to see what is a JavaScript, how to use a JavaScript for our web development, and where can we place this JavaScript along with the HTML codes and a few of those examples. So basically, a JavaScript is a scripting language, uh, meaning it's a, one of the lightweight programming language which helps us to develop web pages for our interactivity and it is also an interpreted language meaning it executes without preliminary compilation basically the javascripts are being embedded directly into the html pages to provide interactivity among the various elements of the html and with the users of those web pages so remember java and javascripts are different the advantages of JavaScript is that it is basically a programming tool for HTML designers to organize various HTML elements on the web pages and its development. And it provides a, a dynamic text into the HTML page so that the latest or the updated information can be easily known. JavaScript can do react to the events that are occurring on the web pages with the user interactivity and it can read as well as write the various HTML pages in the real time. It, the main purpose of the JavaScript is to validate the data that is being entered by the users on those web pages before processing that particular data. Nowadays, we use JavaScript to apply various artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning techniques into the browser to realize the data analysis in the appropriate way. And JavaScript can be used to create the cookies which help us to store and retrieve the information which are related to the web users. How do we write the JavaScript in the program? We write the JavaScript with, along with the HTML codes by using the tag script. So this is the syntax we write whatever we write in between the script tags are the executable statements which are being done by the JavaScript interpreter. The script tag is used to embed the client-side scripts and it is also can contain various other statements which are external to the this corresponding HTML file and which can be invoked with the source attributes. And where do we write these JavaScripts? We can include the JavaScripts in the head section of the HTML page or in the body section of the HTML page or simply use those external JavaScript files to link to your corresponding HTML page. The JavaScripts which are included in the body section will be executed when the page loads while the JavaScripts which are present in the head section will be executed when the head section is being invoked. The few of the examples are here on the left side of the screen, we see a script which is being included in the head section of the HTML page, which contains a function message. And that particular function is being invoked by the HTML element, the button. Whenever a user clicks on that button, then the corresponding function is getting executed and its relevant message is being displayed here. So in this example, we see the script tag is used in the head section of the HTML page. Coming to the next example, in this case, we see the script tag is placed between the body tags of the HTML. And this statement that you see here is basically the JavaScript statement, which includes the get element by ID, the element which corresponds to the HTML element here in this case is the paragraph is the HTML element and that is being uh, identified with the text demo. So the corresponding HTML document is demo gets the corresponding value here. Now coming to the third example, we see a JavaScript which is being linked to the HTML page through the external source. So here there are two files. One file is message.js, the name of the file is message and the extension here is .js and here we see there is a 
another page or another web code that we have written here, which we call it as index.html, where we are trying to invoke the JavaScript, which is present externally to this particular program. So when the program is executed and when the user clicks this button, there's the message output that we are going to see on the screen. 